Benny is back. The hair is gone. The beanie is back. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna cut out meat for a month. I've never done it, but uh, the time has rolled around to try this. So, for a month, I think today's the 14th, 14th to the 14th, I'm not gonna eat meat. And I'm just gonna see how, see how it feels. Um, therapy time, right Jazz? The rapey time? It's, it's rape time. It's therapy time. get in front of your camera and you talk to yourself and it uh, feels good <laughs> I just don't know what to talk about I'm topicless today topicless is that like being topless topicless Talking about convertible cars, of course. Um, very quiet in the realm, like always. I'm curious. Uh, August saying something is supposed to be happening in September. I'm curious as to what that is and how how it will make us feel, whatever it is. September. I'm headed back to San Francisco. not going to be sleeping in the car this week. I don't think, anyway. It might happen, but... I'm either going to be staying with friends or splitting an Airbnb with my brother. I've been doing this... <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. Drive to San Francisco, sleep in the car for a week, make money, wash up in, in bathrooms, come home. I've been doing this for like a year. Before this, I worked at a casino. And that was pretty shit pay. That was like minimum wage plus tips as a bar back. Met some cool people there though. Still in contact with like two of them. Sort of contact. Um, yeah. <laughs> my my money path is just wonky. It's up and down and all around. Uh, I've never had a professional job. Whatever that whatever the hell that means. I don't even. What does that even mean? A professional job. I've always done. I delivered pizza for a while when I was younger. And then I went from delivering pizza to running an eBay business, which I did for a year. No, <laughs> which I did for five years. And I bought and sold phones and repaired them. Had some shops. Well, I had like, had a few different locations in Fresno for, for a while, uh, repairing phones. I did well, 
during that period. I didn't enjoy it though. I enjoyed it all right. It wasn't terrible, but uh, I am proud of the accomplishment though. I sold 1.1 million dollars worth of phones over the bulk of it was over about three years. Serious, the serious part. I think my biggest month in sales was like sixty thousand dollars. So I was doing a lot of doing a lot of business. Um, and then I went from that. eBay basically gave me the boot. Um, they didn't tell me why. Not really. they were, the lady was quite mean about it, and uh, I just had to basically stop doing it. And they wouldn't even let me come back because I have connections all around town. So I started working with somebody else under their account, but still doing my work. And eBay knew <laughs> they were tracking my. Uh... They basically knew my fingerprint of like sales and, and patterns like that because no matter I tried a few different accounts not related to me whatsoever. And every time eBay found out, and they're like, nope. So, <laughs> I just had to stop. And I went from that into working at the casino. I did that for about a year. And all this time, we're changing houses, changing apartments, changing locations. At least when I was with Kim, we changed locations like five times in Fresno. And, uh, I'm just like a nomad, I guess. I just wander around and do this thing and do that thing and do the other thing. Um, yeah, I never know where I'll be. I never know, I never know what the life is going to present me with. I don't want to know. That's, the knowing is, like, the, the not knowing is, for me, that's exciting. Somebody called this beanie a toboggan. They're like, what the hell is this guy doing wearing a toboggan in the middle of the summer? <laughs> Since when do you call beanies toboggans? Isn't that like a sled or something? Something like that. Fuck if I know. Anyway, going vegan-ish for a month. I think fish is okay. I think I'll I'll leave that on the plate. Uh, I'm not gonna cut out all dairy products. I'll still have milk. Probably still have eggs. Just eat a lot of greens and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it for a month. See how I feel, and possibly you know if it's epiphanic. <laughs> is that a word? Epiphany. An adjective form of epiphany, uh, then I will, maybe I'll just keep doing it, you know? Who knows? I've eaten meat my whole life. Tiffany also, it's kind of funny. She said, when we, were, when we met that one time, I was asking her, uh, we were talking, we got to the subject of money, and I was telling her, you know, how I dislike it, and how it's just a pain in my ass, and I'm tired of bothering with it. I thought she was going to give some sort of advice. She's like, stop eating meat. <laughs> she essentially said, stop eating meat, and I won't have any more money problems. Very interesting uh, idea. We're gonna find out. Stop eating meat and say goodbye to money problems. And I don't have money problems. It's just I just uh, I'm not a big fan of 
the concept of it in the first place. It's just like a bother to me. I don't want a lot of money. I don't want a little bit of money. I don't want anything to do with it, basically. I don't like touching it or thinking about it or anything like that. I like it enough for what it is. Like, it's as a tool, it's useful, but the system is so fucked that uh, it's just dirty. It's, the whole thing is tainted, so I don't like it very much. But maybe uh, I'll stop eating meat and uh, the economy will transform into something else, possibly. It's fine with me. longest I've ever gone without eating meat was when Kim and I did a juiced fast for a week. I did it for like 10 days. So 10 days I only pulverized greens like kale, spinach, uh, fruits, and chard. Just like really green vegetable, leafy, leafy stuff. I was that's all I did. I ate uh, cantaloupe and honeydew melon as well. And I just we ate we just drank that. We didn't eat anything. The hunger goes away after three days, and you're not hungry anymore. And it just kind of flushes your system out. Um, so that's the longest I went without meat before. to see how this goes. Let me know, uh, everybody who is vegan in the comments, let me know, uh, prioritize it for me if you could, uh, yep. And how important that decision was to you and how it actually affected your life. That's what I would like to know from your perspectives. All of you who are vegan or partially vegan or have tried it, just want to get some some uh, com some commentary going on about the subject. So let me know, and I will let you know, and you will see. I'm sure there will be a reflection in my videos as this progresses. Uh, it will change the nature of this channel, at least for the month that I'm doing it. And I'm not sure, uh, I may keep doing it. I, I don't know. The vegan slash non-vegan thing has never really been much of an, uh, a consideration for me before, but it's correct right now for me to do this for the month possibly more. I think that's about enough for this therapy session, so, uh, yeah. I want to get, I want to get more chats with more people. I asked, uh, Sabrina to do one with me, and she wants to, I just have to figure out, I need a MacBook, really. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do the interview with her or the chat with her yet because I only have my sister's Mac when she's home, and her, her PG&E work is taking her all over the place, and she's not home very often anymore. So I pretty much need to buy my own computer. I have a shitty PC, but that's not working so well. So Sabrina, I will get back to you. It's just gonna happen when it happens, and I want to have more of you on. Just talking shooting the shit, talking about the AUG stuff, talking about everything that we've been discussing, simulation, all of it. I do enjoy it.
I enjoy the discussions and the connections. So, uh, um, yeah, vegan for a month. That's about it. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.